Right, back on then. So, buy a hair of outstanding beauty. I will be up in the woods. You never know, I might do a little bit of uh, you going like down back, I might do a circuit in the winter. Might do, yeah, I haven't done that for a while. As long as I'm going downhill, I don't mind. Yeah, I remember this. God, I was feeling really good that day as well. Coming down through this little track and exploring, yeah, where all the Christmas trees are. Yeah, I'm not going to go, I, I'm going to keep the new coom, Happy Valley, for the winter walks. Because these would be my winter walks actually in Robero. I won't be going out on, out. They'll be shorter. But of course the only thing with shorter walks, if you don't get back, you know, it, it makes it a hell of a long day when you've got, try and kill time really. I'm sorry to keep going on about buses, but this is what happens when you rely on public transport, I'm afraid. I loved it when I had my van. Great. I used to park the van up in Cheddar, go off all day, no worries of time, come back, get fish, get Savloy sausage and a can of Coke. It's like heaven, and sit in my van and eat it. I used to love doing that. That's what I loved about my van. I loved going off in it. I miss it so much. I've tried not to say that, but I have. In the beginning, it was a novelty not having it, and I saved money, but only for a while. You soon find ways to spend your money. I mean, if somebody, if I had the money again, I probably would buy another one. But it's expensive keeping it on the road, see? It's not so much getting the van, it's when you've got it, you've got to try and keep it. I do miss it though. I mean, it's, it has um good job there's lots of stuff online because I did used to love going out in the van around the country, exploring where the ancestors... I mean, I want to go to Yorkshire. I found the Buckton family up there, Wensley, Wensley Dell. I wanted to go there, there's graves there. I can't get there. I can hear people. I can see people. I can see somebody in red. Well, wait till they, they go. I don't know whether they're coming my way. Or they're going to turn off. Or have they stopped? I don't know. I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right, we're now following this path down. Um, it'll branch off in a minute and we're going to bear left today. Are we going to bear left or do you want to go straight on? Um, don't have to go left, Sheila. You're not actually going that way. don't have to go that way. You could just carry on. And end up with a stream. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll actually be moving away from where you want to go. Yeah, that's true. Well, unless you want to do a bit of weaving. Um. No. I think I'll keep on the lower end of this track. Oh, there's an I'm sure there used to be another higher up track though. I'm sure of it. Further over. I'm sure that used to be. Well I think you've got to allow at least two hours from the time you get to the edge of this wood. Okay. If you get back to Winscombe at five, that's fine. You can just go and sit out the railway station. Huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, I can. Yeah, you should be able to see steep home in that. Not steep home. Yeah, you should be able to see out on that particular path. You remember? Yeah, I don't want to go down on that lower one. I don't fancy doing that today. Just met a woman picking the nits out of her son's hair. I said, Yo, you want to look for ticks as well? <laughs> Here's the lovely woodlet. I have wandered in. I'm, I mean, I'm being extra on guard at the moment. That's why I don't really want to go off track anywhere. Because um, it is the summer. But of course, some ticks are going... They're going on around all the time now. You know, they're not actually... Because the climate's warming up. Yeah, I'm sure I used to be able to see over. It must be further up then, another way up. There is another way up, I know there is. I would say, like it was quarter to two when I got on the trig point. I would say it's going for three now, wouldn't you? Yeah, easily. It's easily an hour gone by. So you've got three hours, yeah. I don't mind getting back early. I can have something at the um, shop. I'm not going to go that way. You sure? Yeah. I'm going this way. I'm going to stay this way and go straight back to the stream. We haven't got time, just in case I, you know, detour too much. We haven't got time, really. So we'll, we'll go back the way we know. And we've been in all these woods. I've taken loads and loads of photos, folks, over the years. This is Sheena on the 21st of August, 2023. The day after the English ladies lost at the World Cup to Spain. Only 1-0. And our goalkeeper saved a brilliant penalty. Lots to be proud of. The girl that scored, the Spanish girl, you know, who scored. <sighs> they didn't tell her, as far as I know, she didn't know. But her father had died. Two days before the final. And they, apparently no one told her. Now, whether that played a part because everyone looked so solemn, especially, there was a lot of solemnness in that final. <sighs> now, she scored the winning goal against us. Her father had just died. I won't say that that would have... <sighs> I don't know. But she apparently she's one of the best players in the world. And she can't be very old. And her father could only be about my age, I would have thought. If not younger. All right, lovely pictures to take here. For right, folks, we'll be turning it back to scene. Right, back now. on. Yeah, they've done a lot here. Yeah, it's a good job I turned off when I did. Otherwise, I'd be going down. I'd have to walk back up again. Um, I probably would have been all right because I've got to walk along the top route up. Could have done. Robera Warren. Yeah, this is uh, this is for the bikers. You're not really supposed to go on it as a walker, but I suppose some people do. Although I have walked through there before now, definitely. I've definitely gone over there. So anyway, I've taken pictures of all this before. So what I'm doing now, there is tracks everywhere. But I'm going down this way. I'm gonna make my way down towards the stream. When we get to the bottom, we'll check the time again and we'll have the cake. I've got a piece of cake in my pocket. 
and we'll have a bit of juice. I don't think I have the juice, did I? No, you didn't open it, Phil. No, I forgot. That's because the camera accidentally fell on my on my wrist. Really hurt, by the way. But it wasn't on the bad part of my wrist, so well, I caught the bad part, the bit that was damaged from the fall. Um, trip, I'm going to say. It wasn't a fall, it was a trip. You get labels if you're my age and you fall, you're seen as having dementia and all sorts of things. Yeah, it's a bit stony going down here, but um, yeah, we're enjoying it. Like I said, we did the area of outstanding beauty. You could still do it in the winter, in theory, because um, the bus is timed is exactly the same. There isn't really any reason not to. It just depends if it's a nice day you could do it. But it does start getting nippy after 3 o'clock in the winter, to tell the truth. And it gets dark by 4 o'clock. <sighs> At this rate, I could be just miss the 4 o'clock bus. And have two hour wait. <laughs> yeah. Just beginning to feel a bit weary, my legs now. They've done very well, considering. What I need to do is have more rest periods between, though. Um, I was whacking in a load of walks. So that's what I do. I need to be out. I live in a box, a flat, with no garden. So I need to get out. I love being out here. And I ain't lonely. People think, oh, are you lonely? No. You're alone. Yeah, but I ain't lonely. Being alone doesn't mean you're lonely. You can be in a crowd and be lonely. We all know that. That's the cliche. So I'm just recording this for posterity, everybody. This is 2023, August the 21st. I do feel sad for England, though, losing, because the thing is, I feel happy for Spain. They were in the same situation as England, as far as women's football goes. Although we've been to a semi-final, I think, before. I think we have, or it could have been a quarter-final. But, you know, work so hard. I think we just didn't have that edge yesterday. Spain were really fired up. Um, goodness, they were. They were fighting as if it was for their life. And they played a decent game. But they were more nimble, I think. More fast. They held a lot of possession. But that's their game. They did a lot of ticky tacky, messy, messy, and like the Japanese would do that. See, they got beaten big time by the Japanese, by the way, 4 0 in the first parts of the World Cup. And everyone sort of wrote Spain off. They thought, bloody hell. So, um,. Oh, God, it looks really, really hard going down through there, doesn't it? Yeah, I've been down there before. Ah, <sighs> yeah. It's going to be hard work going down this bit. Look, it's only for a short, short bit, though. Let me turn it off. <sighs> 